Next we have Tim Thiers, who was MVETS chairman, what, 11 years legislative chairman? And by the way, Jerry's got a Harley, this guy's got a Harley, I, can you figure that out? I mean, he brought his Harley here, and he, had, he comes from Manitowoc, he had to put his gloves on. By Appleton or? Oh, <laughs> you don't wear gloves on a scooter. It's too hard to light a cigarette. <laughs> Anyways, Tim Thiers has been an uh, inspiration for years. He was a county veteran service officer. Uh, he was a legislative assistant, Department of Veterans Affairs. He's a mover and a doer and a shaker and a quaker. Um, he's, whenever we have a meeting in Mike uh, Hupe's office for the Motorcycle Museum Movie and Music and Memoir Committee, um, Whenever there's something going on, he's above and beyond the call of duty. Um, he's got a, his daughter is here. Just enjoy your daughter. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 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 his wife, his wife is here. But, but Tim has been just an awesome, yeah, just, uh, uh, just an awesome inspiration. And uh, he, he, just, he just works, 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 as do all these individuals. And by the way, I hope the CC Riders would allow us to do this next year. Next year we're going to get a lot better turnout. We're going to um, just maybe do a few things different, but we so appreciate CC Riders for this. So Tim, the unsung hero character with, and this guy is a character. Go ahead. <laughs> First of all, do I pay you an hour later for those kind of words? <laughs> Like David mentioned that I was a county veteran service officer until I had a meeting one morning heading back to the office for the afternoon and I T-boned the car at about 55, 60. Yeah, total the bike. Three and a half weeks in a coma, died three times on the table. Neurosurgeon told my wife and I that if I would have had a helmet on, I would have been dead, or best case scenario, paralyzed from the yep. neck down. But it didn't lose my passion for veterans and helping out. One of the things I'm most proud of, and I've told Dave this story through, when I was a county veteran service officer, I had a woman bring her son in, because since he got back from Iraq, just not right in the head. I peeled through the layers and I assisted in getting them rated at 100% post-traumatic stress disorder. Then I wasn't the veteran service officer anymore, but I stayed in contact with all the vets in the county. He was down in Milwaukee, and he was diagnosed with, at the time, they thought was a strain of pancreatic cancer. They gave him one to three years to live. 30 years old, full custody of his one-year-old son. I looked all around the internet for any type of make-a-wish type thing for adults. Not a single thing existed. My wife and I came up with an idea. We proposed it to the AMVETS State Department, a terminal veteran's dream fund for any veteran in the state diagnosed terminal due to their service-connected disability. We put up $1,000 of our own, provided they would vote to run it as a program and match the 1000 passed unanimously, we've had, we've helped seven veterans out so far, uh, average price about two grand, two of them, their last dream was hunting trips. We sent them up there with the outfitters, both outfitters wound up mounting the buck for them, <laughs> and they each threw in another deer for their son. And stuff, and it's the parameters of the program. Every dime that's donated goes to help out the veterans. It's in a separate account. They're all, um, with the privacy concerns, all checks are made out to providers. The only people that know who it goes to are me and the people on the committee. Because if you were diagnosed as terminal, I'm sure there are certain people you wouldn't want to know that. So I'm very proud of that, and also on the legislative side, Dave mentioned that our state <laughs> legislative director for AMVITS, he forgot to say that for the past, what, Eleven five, years. six years, you've been on my oh. committee? <laughs> He's my boss. <laughs> Which is just great. I mean, former chair of the Senate Veterans Military Affairs Committee, it was an honor to have you on there. and. 
honor to call you a friend, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Preacher, upright. You all know Preacher from the Free Rider Press. When you see his resume and Lori Sky, is Lori Sky or your wife Lori, is she here? Oh, right there. Oh, Lori. <laughs> but um, they're a team, the Free Rider Press, one of the most prestigious um, magazines in the Midwest, uh, mostly Wisconsin, Illinois, a little bit of Minnesota, Iowa. But. Um, I, I enjoy writing articles once in a while, but preacher, when you when you read his editorial, I just uh, when I go to that paper, I look at the front page, and I look at his editorial. He tries to bring bikers of all types together, and, and he just works so hard. Their son served in Iraq, and they they he'll talk a little bit about it, but they volunteered so much time. He is such a fierce patriot, and and when you, how old were you when you first tried to drive on a motorcycle or riding on a motorcycle? Four or five, yeah. Okay, four years of age, his mom and dad were bikers. But a preacher does just a, a admirable job. And just like the rest of these individuals, they de 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 devote time and, and energy and money far above and beyond the call of duty, not just for motorcyclists and veterans and military, but just for humanity in, in essence. And they just love helping others succeed. And when you read the Free Rider Press, they got a little uh, uh, Christian segments, they got biker segments, club segments, I mean they just go the whole gambit, but it's such an enjoyable piece uh, of literature. So, uh, Preacher Jensen, give him a big hand. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I started the Free Rider Press basically to give all aspects of the motorcycle community an out. You got your clubs, you got your Christian riders, you got your women riders, your veterans, anybody. This paper basically is written by everybody that wants to submit something about an event they did to help promote any of them issues. That's what it's about. We try and my wife and I did uh, put on a uh, send off when my son did go to Iraq. My wife was determined not to let the unit go without a proper send-off, so she actually went door-to-door, -door, got schools to bring kids out, and a car dealership actually locked their doors and made their customers and uh, employees go out there holding flags for the buses as they left. This is what we try and do. We try and just support any anybody that's interested in helping support the biker lifestyle, bikers in general, veterans. We're all one. And that's what we got to do. We got to support each other. Because if we don't do it, nobody's going to help us. So that's the way I'm looking at it. So Free Rider Press is you. So. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>